Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this past weekend, I helped to decorate for a baby shower and guess what the theme was? It was another teddy bear baby shower, but this time it was for a girl. So most of the time when I'm doing these teddy bear themed baby showers, it's for boys. So this time I was able to use pink and brown and everything was just so cute. So let's get into the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to share my lessons learned and I'm also going to share the details of a big sale that I have coming up next week, okay? I'm not sure if I made an announcement on my YouTube channel, but I just created a new balloon backdrop class, okay? So I created an online course to answer all of the questions that I get from you guys on creating a balloon backdrop, okay? So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so I can share some details on that new course with you, all right? So let's get started.
All right, guys. So that was the teddy bear themed baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I just loved how everything came out. My client loved all of the decorations and so did her guests. So I was really excited about that. If you guys have any questions on how I created those centerpieces, don't worry. I have a tutorial coming out this week, okay? So I was able to record a tutorial for you guys and walk you through exactly how I created those balloon centerpieces, all right? So let's talk about my new balloon backdrop class because I get so many questions from you guys on how I create my balloon backdrops, okay? So first, let me tell you that I have some simple tutorials already on my YouTube channel. So if you're a beginner and you're just looking for something quick to do, or if you like to DIY your events and you're just looking for something small and quick, I'm gonna put the links to my tutorials in the description of this video, okay? So I do have tutorials on this channel that you guys can view for free. Now, what's included in my balloon backdrop class, my online course, it's everything that's not on YouTube. <laughs> so what I'm doing in this online course is I'm literally walking you through step by step on how I create my most popular balloon backdrop. And these are the backdrops where you see balloons going along the top and then balloons going along one side, okay? So in this balloon backdrop class, I actually teach you how to go down both sides of the backdrop, okay? So there's so much information in there, guys. I talk about what balloon brands that I use. I talk about ways to upsell the client. I talk about accessories that you can add to your balloon backdrops. I walk you through step by step on blowing up the balloons, attaching the balloons, creating the garlands. I give you tips, like literally guys, I give you all of the information that you guys ask for on my YouTube channel, okay? I even go into pricing information because a lot of you guys always ask me, how much would you charge for this? How much would you charge for this? So I literally walk you through how I would create a quote for a client. So be prepared. This online course is about three hours, okay? It's gonna take you about three hours to get through all of the material, but I really wanted to make it a one-stop shop for you, right? So I give you all of the supplies that you'll need. I walk you through how to create the balloon backdrops. And then I also tell you how to price them. So you're literally ready to go. Once you master the techniques in that balloon backdrop class, that online course, you are gonna be ready to book clients, okay? So I have a huge sale going on next week to help you guys get started, all right? Now, let's talk about the lessons learned for this event because I do have a couple of lessons, big lessons for you guys. So the first lesson that I learned from this event is that I need to make sure that I'm asking my client, is the room gonna be set up? And by that, I mean, are all the tables gonna be set up? Are all the chairs going to be set up? Because if the room is not set up, then that means it's gonna take me more time to set up, right? Because I can't just come in and set up my decorations. I also have to set up the tables and the chairs. So for this event, the room wasn't set up. It wasn't set up in the way that my client wanted it set up. Let me say that. So when we got to the venue, the tables were out, but there were too many tables out. And the chairs were stacked. So the chairs were not at the tables. In this event, it was for 120 people. So it wasn't a huge event, but it wasn't a small event. So thank goodness my client was there with some of her family and friends, and they were the ones who actually came in. They helped me unload the truck, and they helped put the tables and the chairs together. So they unstacked them 
And then they helped to organize the room. And thank goodness they did that because it really helped to save a lot of time. So I need to make sure that I'm factoring that in to the setup time. So thank goodness for this event. My client helped me and we had plenty of time for setup. So it wasn't an issue for this event, but I just made a note of that, that I have to make sure that I'm asking my client, is the room already gonna be set up? Another lesson with this event is that sometimes my clients will ask me to set up some stuff for them. So for example, with this event, my client asked me to set up her party favors. She asked me to set up the games and the prizes for the games, right? But I think my client, you know, she was just in a rush. And so she put everything in a couple of boxes. And so I had to kind of go through them and figure out what was what. So going forward, I'm gonna just ask my clients that if there's anything that they need for me to set up on the day of the event, if they could just have that separated and labeled, it would help me a lot. Because with this event, you know, I was trying to go through all of her stuff, plus she dropped off some stuff for the bar and for the food table and for the dessert table, right? So me and my mom, we were kind of just going through stuff and trying to figure it out. And I think we did it right. <laughs> I think we set up everything correctly, but I think it will be more efficient if I just ask my clients just to label everything to make it easier for me when I'm setting everything up. All right, guys. So those were my lessons learned that I had for you. If you have any questions on any of the materials that I use to decorate this event, please make sure you check the description of this video, okay? I'm also going to update my Amazon store and I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. So if you want, you can just go directly to my Amazon store and see what I purchased from there, all right? If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.